So what we just went through is we talked about when graphing. What we noticed is both of these equations or both of these lines share the point 4 comma 0, right? They share the point 4 comma 0. Now another way we can represent 4 comma 0, remember 4 comma 0 is a coordinate point, meaning it has an x and a y value, correct? So what I'm saying is the x and the y are exactly the same for these two equations at this point. Make sense? Let's say it again. The x and the y are exactly the same. The values of x and y are exactly the same at this point where they intersect. Right? So what I want to show you guys is this is how we find, this is how we solve the solution graphically. We solve the equations for you know y, we graph them, and we find the intersection point. Now there is a way algebraically that we can do this. And if we think about it, since we know that x is equal to y, right? They're equal to each other. It doesn't matter which one you use, right? They're, they are the same for both equations. Let's look at what happens when I plug in the x and the y into both of these equations. So I said um, y equals 0 equals negative 1 half times x, which is 4, plus 2. So therefore, remember we did the, remember we did the plug it in last class period, right? Plugged them in. So therefore, 4 times negative 1 half is a negative 2 plus 2. 0 equals Zero equals zero. Is that true or false? True. We look over here. Plug your zero and your x. Uh, y equals zero. One half times um, x is four. Minus two. That's not right. What is that? Y equals zero. X equals four. Is that the right equation? Right. Okay. That's right. Zero equals two minus two. 0 equals 0. So therefore, what you guys notice is it doesn't matter. The x's and the y's, if I plug them into both equations, they both make the equations true. Right? So I want you to, I'll say this one more time. Our x's and our y's are exactly the same. Or, I'm sorry. The values of x and y are exactly the same at this point. So what that means is I can substitute, like we did last class period, I can substitute the value of x into my other equation, right? Mm -hmm. X is the same for both of these equations. So therefore, if I say the value of X, let's forget about this right now. If I say the value of X equals 2Y plus 4, instead of writing X over here, I can write 2Y plus 4. So we'll do what we did last class period. Does everybody see what I did? Yeah. I plugged in the value of x into this equation because they, it, they're exactly the same at this solution. I can do the same thing for x and for y. Since y equals negative 1 half x plus 2, I can plug this in for y over here. So I have 2 times negative 1 half x plus 2 plus 4. Does everybody see what I'm doing here? Yes. Okay. They, the x and the y's are the same at this point. So therefore, if I say x equals this, I can plug that in for x on the other equation. If I say y equals this, I can plug that in for y on the other equation. Now let's go and solve for x and y, respectively. Well, not respectively, other way around. So I have y equals negative 1 half times 2 is a negative 2y, or negative y. 1 half times 2, right, negative 1. Negative 1 half times 4 is going to be a negative 2 plus 2. Get the y on the other side. So I have 2y equals 0. Divide by 2, y equals 0. You guys see y equals 0, right? On a point. Let's check this one, x. 2 times negative 1 half is going to be a negative x. 2 times 2 is going to be a positive 4 plus 4. Get the x on the other side. 2x equals 8. Divide by 2, x equals 4. So what you guys notice, guess what? What I'm saying is, when you plug in your other value for x or y into the other equation and solve for those values of x and y, you get the same solution point. Okay? And the reason why this is so powerful and helpful is because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking you what is the solution of the equation, and I don't say to graph. You don't need to graph. You can simply just use our algebraic technique to solve. Okay? All right.
So, 